Right, our friends, and welcome back to the studio. And we're joined in today's studio with none other than David O'Gorman, friends. David. Now, Dave, you've got a very, very special event happening this weekend. I do indeed, yeah. Um, I'm a psychological illusionist, which combines magic, hypnosis, suggestion-based techniques, um, among others. And I'm going to be taking certain individuals who've already applied to take part in the show, and I'll be taking them on... Uh, a reality shifting experience, so to speak. So check that out. Reality shifting experience. Yeah. That's something. It sounds a bit dangerous, David. It does. Some of the things, everything I do has the chance of failure mixed in with it, because I started off with hypnosis and psychology, and then from there I went on to sleight of hand, card magic tricks, and um, but then that never really appealed to me. So the the psychological aspect of it is, it is more difficult. Because there's no guaranteed success in anything that I do, um, but it just makes it more exciting for me and for the whole experience. You know, if it can go wrong, it yeah. can go wrong. Yeah, but you're not in the business of making things go wrong, David. So it's an experiment. It's it not really go. It's not going to go wrong. I, with the people I've spoke with and, and what we've discussed so far, and that'll all become more clear next week. But I don't think it's going to go wrong. But if I did it and it was in such a way where everything was 100% accuracy the whole time, to me that just isn't enjoyable right. to do and I don't think that would be enjoyable to watch. The element of there being that possibility of this might go wrong, I don't know, it just excites me a bit more, you know? Yeah, and we had a brief chat on the phone we did. and you explained to me and I don't want to give too much away to sure, sure, because no. Because your event's getting even filmed on the streets of Newry, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So give us the times and, and that you're going to be out on the streets. So I'm going to be in the streets around, around 1 o'clock, um, but I'm meeting different people throughout the day. And I'm also going to be just working with the general public, just doing things off the cuff, like simple things like guessing people's PIN numbers of their bank machine. If they want to take part in that, they can be, I love around, that. be around the Hill Street area. Around one half one on from on, on Saturday. Saturday. This is coming Saturday, yeah. Yeah. I'll be doing that. There's things along those sorts of lines, and there is to be confirmed. I'll also be doing on Saturday evening a psychic show. Brilliant. I'll be doing one to one readings with people if they want to come along to that, but that will be announced. So I just need to confirm the the, the the venue and get everything sorted for that. Now, do you, do you, do you, can you see psychic abilities in, in the ordinary people on the street, the people you meet? Can you see that they've got abilities or they are psychic within a few minutes of meeting them by looking at them within their age? Or? For me, I have yet to meet or see anyone who is what you would call psychic. I can see the, the tools that they're using to get the information that they're getting. Yeah. And when you see it on TV, you see the edited version. You never see what goes before that, yeah. how that information is acquired. And then, if you see it edited in that condensed version, it appears miraculous. But if you were there on the day to see it from start to finish, you would go, okay, I know what he's doing there. Yeah. What she's doing there. Yeah. yeah. Well, can you go, give us a, a bit of a sleight of hand demonstration there? If you... Sleight of hand, um, right. Let's see. If, you, if you've got do you, uh, half the cards. Do you play poker? Um, yeah. yeah. On and off. On and off. Same, yeah. same with myself, but yeah. because I do. I'm quite handy with the cards. People often assume there is always some form of sleight of hand. Because there's a great photograph of you mid flight with them cards one yeah. one hand yeah. the other. I was looking at that. <laughs> Excellent. So just so you can confirm for everyone, these cards are in fact all different. It's not the same card yeah. repeated. It's not a set of duplicates. No. In sequence, each of the fifty-two are all different. So what I'll do is um, just to remove the consideration of some form of sleight of hand taking place. I'm going to throw these at you. Right. right. Um, you can keep the, the elastic bands where they are. So whenever I throw, just catch them from this end, just take a look at one card and remember it. And then I'll try and decipher what card it is you're looking at. Because with poker, it's all down to like calculations and working out the probability of your hand matching the flop and turn the riddle with Texas Hold'em. So I thought, wouldn't it be great if you could actually ascertain what cards your opponent's holding. So this, this again, possibility of failure mixed in with this, but we'll give it a go anyway. So I'll go back at the distance. And right. Just catch them and look at one card. Right. Just take a look at one card. You got it, yeah? Yeah, I got right. it. Throw so the deck of cards down there. Right. So I just want you, I don't want to touch them, so I just want you to 
replay everything we've just done over in your head again. Okay? And just imagine yourself catching the cards when you look at the card and keep repeating the card over and over in your head again. Two of diamonds, two of diamonds, just like that. Do you want to repeat it? You nailed that one. Yeah. You nailed that one. Yeah. Friends, believe me, he's nailed that one. Yeah. You know, I'm, I know that there is a certain thing in, in, in magicians, if you want to. I'm yeah. They ask you to pick a card. And it's always in around the eight of hearts. Yeah. But that was the two of diamonds, and you nailed that. Yeah. And I tried, I tried not to, I would not say, no, I'm not let on. That's kind of, that, that kind of helps, in a way, because the more resistant the person weird. is, if I was to say to you, pick a letter of the alphabet, and I knew you were quite resistant, then I know you're going to go X, Y, Z, somewhere in that region to try and catch you out. Um, so it does sort of help. Oh, that's pretty damn good there. So friends, don't play poker with him. He'll, and he'll, 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 he'll wreck you. He'll wreck you. Mm. That's a very good, and that's only something, you've done that in, in a couple of seconds really. Yeah, yeah. So you're, to me your, your eyes look very intense. Thanks. You've got that intensity about you. you know. it's, it's, it's just a developed technique that you can, yeah. anyone can learn. The information is there for anyone who wants to go out and, and learn it. I have spent about six years, I'd say, doing this. And as I said, I started off, I actually started off with philosophy, an interest in philosophy, and that led on to psychology. Psychology led on to hypnosis. Hypnosis led on to sleight of hand card tricks. And then combining everything that I've learned, I thought, well, this is, this is what I want to do now. So. Well, you're doing a bloody good job, I can tell you. Because I'm serious, you got the two of diamonds there. And them cards are tightly bound with an elastic band. Well, David, is, is, is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh, no. No. no Just being the Hill Street friends, was that, we're going to be, the Bob the Show's coming out to give you a bit of support, right? Yeah, actually, so, I was going to ask, yeah. would you like to take part in something next Saturday? Why not? Someone yeah. on the show. Why not? Very good. Do we need to come armed or armor plated or anything? Um, <laughs> I'm only joking. Maybe. Maybe. I've walked into that one, friends. I'll tell you what, we'll be back and we'll, we will be in Hill Street for you to show you a bit of support. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I say there are our good friend Gerard Burr, writer Gerard. Yeah. Gerard didn't contact me about the, you know. Um, so there you are. Now, now we're going to be in the next this next Saturday coming. You know. So David, it's absolutely pleasure to have you in the Thank you very much for having me on. Yeah, it's great. And it'll be a pleasure to do walk alongside you next week. Let's see what what's going to come out of the bag. Alan, I am delighted. I'm game for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.